Claire from Educational Roots and today I am going to show you third grade math with confidence. I do have a math with confidence playlist on my channel so you can see the other grade levels of math with confidence. So I have used kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and now third grade math with confidence and we are halfway through the third grade math with confidence so I think at this point I can give you a pretty thorough review but you're always welcome to check back in at the end of the year to see how I liked it but I will say that this is probably one of the only curriculum that I have stuck with for four years so that in and of itself probably tells you something so I started off as a homeschool mom and I, well, I started off as a teacher turned homeschool mom and now I'm uh, the owner of a private Christian school. And in my school, we do use math with confidence K through third grade because it is only available up through third grade right now. But each year a new level comes out and so eventually it will be through sixth grade. And I do plan to use it at my school through sixth grade. So. Each year, we just are going to add on a grade. So anyway, this is the third grade math with confidence. In previous videos, if you've watched them, there is only one student workbook. So kindergarten, first and second grade, there's only one student workbook. In third grade, there are two student workbooks. So there is a part A and a part B. So we have completed the workbook part A, which I have here to show you. Um, but the teacher guide covers parts A and B covers the whole year and it is very very thick as you can see it's 556 pages I do have the physical copy of this as well I always buy both the physical and the digital copy for a couple reasons um, I like to have the digital copy if I am on the go uh, I also appreciate that in the digital copy I can search for things um, but I prefer to teach out of the physical copy. I also like having the digital copy of the workbook in case something happens to a page, I can reprint it. Like let's say a student just really does terrible on a page and they need to redo it, or uh, we've had water spill on their book and you know ruin a page or something like that. It's really easy for me to reprint the pages. Third grade is also the first year in the Math with Confidence series that has what you could call tests. They call them unit reviews, but I use those as tests. So for K1 and 2, my teachers actually have to make up their own tests to go with the Math with Confidence. Um, and so I really, really, really wish there was tests. But this curriculum is not designed with a school in mind. It is designed for a homeschooler in mind. And so that's why there are no tests. So now that I have that background kind of done, let's dive in and take a look. So there are a total of 144 lessons in third grade. And that is if you do all of the optional unit reviews, which of course we choose to do. So it works out great for a four day a week school year. There are 16 units and each unit has a different number of lessons in it. So unlike previous years where each unit has uh, four lessons, uh, basically it's like a week. This one is not that way. It has different a different amount of lessons for each unit, but it does total 144 days. And in kindergarten, first and second grade, there is a picture book every week. And in third grade, there is a picture book every unit. So instead of there being like 32 or whatever picture books, there's only 16 picture books. So that, those are kind of like the differences as they, um, you know, get a little bit older. So third grade covers multiplication and division facts to 100, adding and subtracting four digit numbers, multi-step word problems, perimeter and area of rectangles, adding and subtracting fractions, geometry, money elapsed time, and measurement. I will say that last year before my students did the third grade math with confidence and they were doing second grade math with confidence, we did do the memory work from cross seven to have them memorize skip counting. And once we then got to third grade math with confidence, it has made multiplication so, so easy for them. 
So I do highly recommend uh, doing memory work, either concurrently or really before you even get to third grade. All right, um, it talks about what's new in third grade. I kind of just went over that with you. Gives you an overview of the units, how the lessons look, and all of that. What you'll need. Uh, I would say third grade doesn't have quite as many manipulatives as K through second grade, but you still definitely play games all the time and you still definitely do have manipulatives. I just feel like they are more heavily utilized in K through second. But again, that makes sense as they are getting older, but it does list the manipulatives that you will need and the supplies that you will need. And then it gets into unit one and gives you an overview, what your child will learn, a lesson list, extra materials needed. It includes the picture book if you are going to utilize that. Um, how to teach it, and then it goes to the lesson. So this is lesson 1.1, 1 .1, so that'd be unit one, lesson one, round to the nearest 10. Gives you a purpose in your materials at the top. Always has a warm up. And another difference between the K1 and 2 and third grade is in third grade, there are three workbook pages. But in K1 and 2, there's one and then two workbook pages. Third grade, there's three. So the warm-up you actually use, you do together. So the warm-up is basically the first page of their workbook. You're going to do that together. And then there's independent practice and review, which they will do on their own. And so it is really nice because this actually does work very well for the classroom where the teacher leads the lesson for the warm-up with that first page of their workbook, which I'll show you in a minute. And then they do their independent practice and review, which are two pages on their own. And so we can see if they've mastered the concepts. So it's basically like one page together and one page is kind of like uh, practicing that new concept. And then one page is a review of all previous concepts. And so it's constantly reviewing past concepts. And so it stays fresh in their minds. And that is one thing I really, really love about Math with Confidence. So then I wanna show you when we get to, um, the lesson where they're going to read the picture book. Okay, here we go. So here is an enrichment lesson. These are optional, but again, if you're doing four days a week of school for 36 weeks, it works out perfectly to go ahead and do these. This is the day that you would do the unit review. Um, and there is a picture book and then a uh, enrichment activity. Now, here's the thing that I noticed in third grade the enrichment doesn't necessarily tie in with what they were learning. So for example, this enrichment is Roman numerals. This unit one had nothing to do with Roman numerals. So it really is just enrichment most of the time in third grade. Whereas I felt like in K1 and two, it really did tie into the lessons, but these are more just like enrichment, exactly what it says. So, um, I know I had my third grade teacher ask me like, what, this has nothing to do with the lesson. And so, I, just so you know that um, it, it doesn't always correlate and maybe never correlates um, to that unit, but it's fun nevertheless. And anytime you can read a math picture book, I'm all for it. So that is what the teacher guide looks like. It's very basic um, as far as it just looks like all of the other Math with Confidence teacher guides. It's just thicker. But let me jump down to, let me see, like five, 500 or so. Um, I just got to keep going. I want to show you what's in the back. Okay, so we've got the answer keys in the back. And then we've got the complete picture book list, the scope and sequence, complete memory work list, and the materials list and the black line masters. What I do, another hint, is anything like these charts, like the place value chart and things, um, you actually use that same place value chart throughout all of the levels, but um, I will actually print these and then laminate them for each student. 
so that um, they are all ready to go. And I keep them in those zipper bags. You've seen them probably all over YouTube um, for each student. So um, yeah, and we do have play money. They give you paper money, but obviously it doesn't look anything like the paper money that's for stu um, students outside the US. Um, but if you're in the US, obviously use paper like play or real money um to do the money lessons okay so that is the teacher guide now the workbook so let me show you what i was talking about now so the workbook is in full color which is fantastic so this page where it says lesson activities this is the page that you will do with the student so if you're just looking at this, the student really wouldn't have any idea what to do because there's no directions. Okay, now you can kind of guess what they're doing here. They're rounding. Um, but this is scripted in that teacher's guide telling you what to do. So it is very important that you do this page with the student. And this is where you'll find, you know, if there's a game to do, it's here as well. Then the practice is they're now practicing what they just learned over in the lesson activities. So lesson activities is together with the teacher or parent, and then the practice, they're gonna practice on their own after you've done the first page with them. And then they have the review, which is review of previous concepts. Since this is the first lesson of third grade, it's going to review things that they learned in second grade. But let me get you farther along here. Let's go to like 100, we'll go halfway through. Let me get you to, okay, there we go, 5.1. So we've got the lesson activities page. Again, this is what the teacher or parent will do with the student. Then they are practicing that new concept and on their own. And then they have the review page of previously learned material that they will then review. So to give you an idea of how long a lesson takes, we do have an hour math period, and it is very common for our math lesson to take the entire hour. So um, if you're really doing this curriculum with fidelity, you are going to put time in, but I also think it's important to realize that math does take time and it is worth the time and effort that you put in. So overall, I absolutely love Math with Confidence. I love the unit reviews. I'll show you that too. Here we go. Here's an example of the unit wrap up, which I choose to use as a test. And so I would grade this. Um, they're usually these two pages. And, whoop, wrong one. Uh, that one and that one. I grade those as a test. And yeah, so I absolutely love Math with Confidence. You guys know that. Check out my other videos on Math with Confidence if you want to see the other levels. And like I said, my plan is to continue to use this with my school all the way up through sixth grade as they come out with the new levels. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, put them down below and have a blessed day.